Once you've finished knitting the heel flap to the length that you want it to be, it's time to knit the heel turn. So your yarn should be on the left hand side, ready to turn your heel flap and do the first setup row, which is always a purl row. Don't worry if your heel flap looks as if it's pulling over to one side a little bit, it'll soon straighten up as soon as you put your gusset stitches in and, and you, you continue on with your sock. The heel turn is the point where your previously straight knitting, which has gone from the cuff all the way down to the heel flap, turns on a 90 degree angle and that's what gives you a sock shape for you to get your foot into. The way that we do this is by firstly creating the setup row, which takes you into the middle of the stitches, and then working backwards and forwards, decreasing one stitch on either side until all of the heel flap stitches have been used and you've got this nice V shape and you're ready to pick up the gusset stitches. So to create the setup row, I'm going to slip the first stitch and then I'm going to purl 17 stitches across the heel flap. If you've cast on more or less than 64 stitches for your sock, then you'll need to adjust the number of stitches that you're purling in the setup row, but it tells you how to do this in the pattern. For the next row, this is row two of the heel turn on your pattern. I'm going to slip the first stitch and then I'm going to knit the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to create the next decrease. Now, because this is on the knit side, then I'm going to do a knit decrease and I'm going to use slip slip knit, which is a, a lovely flat professional looking decrease that works really well for a sock heel turn. I'm going to slip the first stitch knit wise. I'm going to slip the second stitch purl wise. I'm going to slide them both back onto the left hand needle and then knit them through the back of the loop. And then knit the next stitch and then turn the work ready for row three. Now you can see that there's a gap appearing already and this is great because this will help you to work out where your decreases should be. And you can see that we've got stitches on either side and here are the stitches that we're going to be doing the heel turn with. So row three, going to slip the first stitch and then purl six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this brings you to one stitch on either side of the gap. Because we're on a purl row, you're going to do the purl decrease, which is purl two together. So put your needle purl wise through both of those stitches, wind the yarn around, and then purl one at the end and turn. It's a little bit difficult at the moment to see how it's going to work out, but it really is a promise. So just trust how the pattern is written and just follow it and it absolutely will work. The next row is a knit row. Now because we've already done five and then six purls, then this is going to be seven. So we slip the first stitch, knit seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are the stitches on either side of the gap and that shows us where our decrease is going to be. Going to slip the first stitch knit wise, the second stitch purl wise, slip them both back onto the left hand needle, knit them through the back loop and then knit one. Turn your work around again. Now because you've just knitted seven, then you'll be purling eight this time. And you can see how we're bringing one in from each side every time. So slip the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the gap again. Going to purl two together. Purl one and then turn. Now just about now you can start to see that the heel turn is taking shape. To finish off the heel turn you just carry on going in exactly the same way as you have done before but you add one stitch onto this row every time you go along. So on this next knit row I'm going to slip the first stitch 
because we've just purled eight, this will be knit nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can always see where you're up to because there's always the two stitches on either side of the gap. Slip, slip, knit. And then turn. And this time, because you've just knitted nine, you're going to purl ten. And you keep going in exactly the same way, increasing one stitch, not, not making a new stitch, but just adding one new stitch from either side to the number of stitches that are in the middle until you've used them all up. On the final knit row, you'll find that there aren't enough stitches to do the slip slip knit and do a knit one as well. So just do the slip slip knit decrease and then that's your heel turn finished.